CES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names and web hosting services. New GoDaddy customers save 25% by using the promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. CES coverage sponsored by Luxor Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. See TPN.TV for the Luxor advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 and get a free trial at audiblepodcast.com forward slash CES. All right. So we have uh, Jerry and Greg with That's us it. from, you guys are going to show us uh, an electronic Echo. translator. Actually, these are uh, our newest line of ebook readers. Oh, they're ebook readers. Yep. Okay. We've been doing this for about three years now, and kind of these are our newest ones that we have. When I was walking through the halls, I saw your guys' uh, booth, and the thing that kind of stuck out to me was that, you know, generally a lot of the ebooks are really big, you know, and sometimes, you know, you don't need that much space. And these are a little bit, I, I like, even like the. I guess it's a, a turquoise color. They're a lot smaller. Why don't you tell us about your product line here? Yeah, well, let me start off with this Jetbook Mini. We released okay. it about uh, three months ago. It uh, actually has the oh, yeah. $99 price point. Just It was perfect for the holidays. You know, uh, parents snatched it up for their kids because of the, all the color mm -hmm. options. Mm -hmm. It uh, runs on a TFT LCD screen, so it's faster, no lag, than uh, any of our other competitors. Mm -hmm. um, it's ergonomic design, and you can use it with your left hand, right hand, uh, flip it. It's also uh, one of the only, it's actually the only one in the world to run on four AAA batteries and last 90 hours of continuous reading. That's, uh, that's a long time and I'm assuming that you can, you know, a lot, a lot of these ebooks, you can uh, check the books out from the library and so forth. How, how does that work with, uh, with your company and your device? Well, let's, let's let Jerry kind of explain that okay. one. Yeah, for this particular model, we have the Jetbook Mini. It actually uses file conversion software, so you can convert files to read on this device. Some of our other higher-end models that we have, uh, they will actually have format support for these books um, that you get from the library. Even for places like Barnes & Nobles, Google mm -hmm. Books, um, we actually make an ebook reader we just released this week called the Jetbook Plus. Um, we don't have it here right now but it has the biggest file support for all online books. Mm -hmm. so, so, so just so I'm straight, this device here will cover which formats then? That one does uh, TXT and FB2 formats. Okay. Um, you can convert others with uh, free software. So I'm assuming that, does that software come with a package then as it's when, it's, when, you, when you buy it? Yes, it's called Calibre uh, conversion software. Okay. I noticed you had an SD slot here too, so you can, that's how you can transfer media on there? Yeah, you can actually put it on the hard drive of the device itself or onto an SD card. Um, I use an SD card because I actually use two different readers, and you could just switch from one to the other pretty easily. Okay. So I think you said it already, but what are the price points between the two then? Um, well, that one that you see in the front is actually a $99 ebook reader. Okay. Um, that one is more for the average consumer this yellow unit we're going to be releasing in about two months time. That one's going to be primarily for the school market. Uh, the thing about this one is it's going to be around $250 or so, mm -hmm. but it will have SAT preparation courses preloaded, uh, speed reading courses, ACT courses, and language teaching courses. Oh, so nice. that content will be on the device when you receive it. So have you partnered up with someone to get that content on there then? Um, we actually produce the content ourselves. So, you do? Yeah. We have our own in-house development for it, and kind of uh, it'll be all speech recognition enabled. Wow. So basically, kind of, wow. you can actually talk to the device. It talks back to you. It corrects your pronunciation if you're doing a language teaching program. It um, asks you for a verbal answer when you're doing the SAT preparation courses. It kind of, um, it just gets on all angles the education kind of institutions that we utilize today in the U.S. So it goes beyond the standard e-books. Absolutely. And it actually comes preloaded with um, the 50 state reading lists. So we worked with endless, literally endless amounts of schools in order to get all their reading lists, combine them into one, and then kind of like it's b it listed by state. So if you're, let's say, in Arkansas, and uh, they have their own state reading list, all your books will be on the device preloaded. I've got your uh, website up here on the, on the computer, and obviously, you guys looks like you guys have been in business a while. You've got a whole bunch of different devices beyond these two as well. So where does your pro where does your product line start, and where does it really begin? I mean, we're starting end. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start and begin, same thing. Yeah, well, yeah. we started off with the Russian market, obviously, really? kind of. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, um, it's a New York based company, but we started off with the Russian market uh, in 20 years ago when immigration was really big from the Eastern Europe. And uh, then after that, it was just single, single translators, you know? It was just word to word translations. And then we obviously went into different language markets. And then sooner or later, we just decided to kind of do it all together. Now we have ones that have speech recognition that kind of literally understand what you say, translate it into another language and pronounce it fluently. Language learning programs, like I put it. And uh, what else, Jerry? Um, yeah, our devices are really uh, unique because they have not only language teaching programs, but they have things for translation. Um, we sell a lot of units actually not only to schools um, for learning, but to uh, people that are going on business trips. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're going to China, they need to speak to someone, they don't want to spend, you know, thousands of dollars a day on a physical person translating. So they utilize one of these devices to kind of help them along the way. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I noticed on your website that you uh, got a GSA contract number. So that th any of you that are watching are uh, government employees. You can order through their uh, their GS through basically the GSA web catalog. So that's that's saying something too. If you're on the G if you're in the GSA space, that you guys <laughs> have been doing business probably with DoD or, or the government is for a long time. Mm -hmm. is, is it, does, have you done any? Is this went into any military applications where they've actually used this in, for as an actual translator, or does it not quite go to that level? No, the uh, the ebook readers not so much yet, um, but we did have uh, certain translators that we sold to the military for military purposes. Right. Um, they were branded as the speech guard. <laughs> right. Um, and they would have languages on them like Arabic, Farsi, Pashto. Wow. Um, and since they were for the military, it was pretty cool. We used to use them. They have um, direct speech recognition for certain phrases. Right put your hands up, get on the ground, you know, <laughs> yeah, different yeah, things yeah. that you need to use and you need it quick, otherwise, you know, it can be the difference between life or death. Right, right. So. Well, you know something, I think yeah. I saw some of your guys' stuff a couple of years ago and it's, you know, it's one of those things you see so many vendors as you're walking the halls through the years and uh, so now it's, it's kind of, it's, it's coming back to me, but great product line. It sounds great. I want to thank Thanks. you guys for coming out and showing the product to us and showing the audience. It's, a, it's appreciated you taking out time your busy schedule here. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot for, for having, having us, guys. Great. Great. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Right. Thanks. Have a good show. Yep, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. You know, initially, when I started looking at a product, I, you know, I was trying to, you know, you got that thing in the back of your head, like, I know these guys from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And while the ebook product's cool, the translation stuff is. Yeah, it's is, amazing. That's, you know, because ebooks are a dime a dozen these days, but. Price point's good on that one right. at $99. And then, of course, moving into the uh, uh, the translation services, right? That's, that's huge. Well, they're actually coming from that area, so it's not like you know, it's kind of evolving their technology to support that. We have a <laughs>